Our topic for today is all about measures of central tendency. Okay? So specifically, we'll tackle regarding mean, median, mode, table of frequencies, uh, table of cumulative frequency, table of relative frequency, table of cumulative relative frequencies. Okay? But before that, uh, let us review some terms no? that we use maybe during uh, our high school. No? So the first term is all about statistics. Okay? Statistics, the science of collecting, analyzing, presenting, and interpreting data. So that's the meaning of statistics. Okay? The next term is data. Data are the facts and figures that are collected, analyzed, and summarized for presentation and interpretation. Okay? Kaya minsan nag-ano ba? Parang confusing yung dalawa eh. Okay? Data man yan. Okay? Statistics man yan. Okay? Just kali analyze ng dalawang definition. This is from according to our reference or source. Okay? Now data can be classified in two, into two. Okay? First is quantitative data. Yung quantitative data are data na pwede mo measure. No? Example, your height. Okay? Pwede siyang uh, your weight, your bigat. No? O pwede siyang grado. Okay? So that is quantitative data. Ma-measure at ma-quantify natin. There are two types of quantitative data. No? The first one is the discrete statistics, uh, discrete uh, data, I mean, not statistics, statistics uh, discrete data. Ibig sabihin, yan yung data na ma-count mo as whole number. So, bawal yung, yung uh, merong uh, decimal. No? Because the other one is the continuous data. So, yun yung mga data na pwede siyang decimal. So, example ng, ng uh, discrete data, okay, for example, number of students, so, kasi wala namang point something na students, no? Number of schools, okay? That is discrete data. The other hand, yung continuous data, yung data na pwede siyang decimal. Example, yung, yung weight natin, pwede mag point something, o yung height natin point something, okay? And next classification of data is the qualitative data, no? Qualitative data means, uh, from the word itself, uh, quality, no? Or the term itself, or the, the root word, quali quality. Ibig sabihin is more on description, no? Example, uh, you'll be asked, are you contented with the facility na Notre Dame? Example, ganyan, no? And you will uh, answer that question, example, uh, yes, okay? Can you please describe your your contentment, okay? Example, uh, excellent, okay, very good, good, fair, poor, no? Ganun yung ating pwedeng i-answer doon sa, sa question na yun. Now, since statistics is more on, okay, uh, kumbaga, uh, collecting, analyzing, presenting, interpreting, more on numbers, no? So, nahihirapan tayo interpret yung data na qualitative, okay? So, dito napapasok, paano namin siya i-treat as, kumbaga, gawa ng statistics, sir, kapag qualitative data. So, dito napapasok ng Likert scale, okay? Likert scale means, Okay. Lagyan mo ng corresponding number yung iyong sagot. Okay. For example, gaano ka, ka ka contented sa facility ng Notre Dame? For example, okay, excellent, that is 5. Okay. Very good, that's 4. Then 3. Okay. For example, good, no? etc. Yan yung Likert scale. Okay. Now today, we will discuss more on ungrouped data. Dalawa yung types din ng, ng, ng data. No? Yung uh, group at saka ungroup. Yung ungroup for example, nag, uh, nag, uh, ano ka, nag survey ka, no? Na, for example, ilan yung mga scores ng classmates mo o kasama ka, no? For example, kung konti lang kayo, I think it's better na i-enumerate mo sa isang helera. Okay? For example, 30, 25, 25, 29, 14, isang helera, no? Kung meron magkapareho, itali mo. That's the ungrouped data. Kapag group siya, Okay, I will use the term range siya. For example, ilang sudyante ang nakakuha ng between 0 to 10. Okay, may range siya, no? may class size siya kung sa statistics pa. Okay, sino nakuha ng 0 to, 0 to 10? Okay, tali natin. Sino nakuha ng, uh, for example, uh, 10 or 11 to 20? Okay, tali natin. So in short, nakagroup yung data. Okay, now next. Yung next natin na... Uh, na terms, okay? First, the population, okay? That is uh, denoted by capital N. 
and small n, okay, which denotes sample size, okay? Please don't forget the symbol class, no? Kasi babalikan natin to later, okay? For example, this series of data, raw data, okay? This is considered as raw data, no? Uh, 30, 25, 25, 29, 14. Scores doon sudyante, okay? If you will be asked, what's the value of n? Okay, assuming this is sample size, no? Just count the number of data, okay? n is equal to 5. Now, for example, second sample, what if there are six students, no? And we assume this is sample size, just count the data, okay? Six, okay? Now, let's proceed with the uh, basic tools in statistics, no? Or specifically measures of central tendencies. Okay, yung measure of central tendencies, tatlo, okay? We have the mean. Ano ibig sabihin ng mean? Just think about the average, okay? Average. The second is the median, okay? And third is the mode, okay? Now, let's start. Okay, later na siguro tayo mag-ask ng question class, no? Uh, para tuloy-tuloy tayo, no? After na lang siguro ng, ng lecture, please ask question. Okay. Uh, mean uh, or average, okay, can you still remember? That is equal to the summation of all scores or data divided by N. Okay? Example tayo dito. Can you bring out your calculator? Just check, please. Okay? It's for the checking purpose, okay? Example nito, uh, scores of students 30, 25, 25, 29, 14. Kindly add all of them and divide it by 5. So the answer should be 24.6. Okay? Uh, given na itong uh, n is equal to 5. Uh. Okay? So kung may question ka, violent reaction, please uh, use your microphone. Oh, na, na mali yung value. Okay? So that's a sample of mean or average. Okay? Next. Median okay, means central value. I'll give emphasis on value, singular, no? Though, kapag yung, yung uh, number of, yung, the end value is even, sir, dalawa lang yung central or middle value, sir. Ibig sabihin ba dalawa yung central value or the median? Hindi. Okay, isa lang talaga siya. Kapag dalawa yung ating middle values, example, kapag n natin even, okay, you get the average of two middle values. Okay? But first, okay, this is very important, that you need to arrange all the set of data or the series of data or the raw data from lowest to the highest or ascending order. Okay? And after that, you locate the central value. Okay? Klaro ha? Again, median. I-arrange muna yung set of data from lowest to the highest saka natin locate yung central value. Okay? Example nito. Okay, example nito, ito, ito yung given sa itaas, no? 30, 25, 25, 29, 14. Okay, you arrange from ascending order, lowest to the highest. So, magiging 14 mauna, followed by 25, dalawa, then 29, then 30. So, na-arrange na siya. Okay? Now, visually, okay, i-locate mo yung central value. In this case, okay, we all agree that it should be 25, no? Okay, so in short, median is equal to 25. So, walang problema kapag yung iyong n is odd. Kapag we're talking about odd, we're talk I'm talking about 1, uh, 3, 5, 7, 9, no? Ibig sabihin, ano ba, wala siyang pares, no? So, klaro talaga yung central, uh, yung kanyang central value, or yung pinaka-center doon sa series of data, after you arrange your ascending order, klaro na isa lang, okay? Klaro, ha? Isa lang. Kapag add yung ating n. Okay. What if, uh, sir, kapag, ano, sir, uh, even yung, uh, yung uh, series of data, okay, example tayo, from this example, dadagdag lang ko ng isa, 30, okay? So, ito na ito sa itaas, no? Yan sa itaas, no? At this one. Yan, okay? Yan, ito yung given. Okay, mag add lang ko ng isa. What if mag add ako ng isa, 30? So, in short, n is equal to 6, even na siya. No? The same pa rin yung ating instruction, okay? You arrange that from lowest to the highest. So, 14, 25, 25, 29, 30, 30, okay? Na-arrange na, na siya from lowest to the highest. As you can see, by looking at, tingnan natin yung central values or middle, middle values, okay, ipartner natin sa last at saka sa first, okay, ganyan-ganyan. So, ibig sabihin dalawa, no? Which are 29 at saka 25, okay? So, hindi pwede dalawa, tapat isa lang, okay? To get the median, we need to get the average of the two values. That is why 25 plus 29 divided by 2. That will give you the median of 27. Okay? I hope, claro, no? Now, 
if you will ask me, sir, paano sa pagmarami na siya masyado? You give, what if you will give us, example, a series of data or raw data, okay, 50, 50 uh, scores, no? There are 50 students. I think it's impractical or it's not, it's difficult, you know, on, on our part, no, na, ganyan-ganyan siya ba, na makita mo yung center, cent, central value niya, okay? That is why we need to think of certain formula. Now, but this formula, uh, it's different from other formula. Okay? Why? Kasi ang formula na ito is just an instruction kung nasaan yung ating central value or the median. Okay? Again, this formula, okay, or these formulas or formulae are instruction, no? Kung nasaan yung mid central value or the median. Okay? For example, if n is 5, which is odd, okay? So this is applicable kapag yung n natin odd. Again, add, I'm talking about 1, 3, okay, 5, 7, 9, so on and so forth, okay? N plus 1, okay, get the sum, the sum no? Divided by 2, okay? In this case, uh, N is equal to 5. Plus 1 will give you 6. Divided by 2, that will give you plan man. 3, correct? Uh, again, plus, uh, the answer is 3. It does not mean you write median 3, Okay? Again, this is just an instruction, okay? So in short, three means third, okay? Iktatlong rank, okay? But you need to, to arrange first, okay, the series of data from lowest to the highest. So arrange nyo muna. Sa kanya apply yung instruction. Okay, bilang tayo ng, ng ano, ranking. First, second, third. That is why, nandito pa rin yung answer. Same pa rin yung answer natin kanina, 25. Okay? Ano lang siya, applicable siya kapag nagbigay ako ng uh, marami na masyadong data, no? Na nahihirapan na kayo locate by, by just simply visualizing, okay? Now, what if, sir, kapag even, okay? Kapag even, can you use this formula, no? Can I say, can just assume na lang siguro that, uh, okay, n sub 1 and n sub 2, no? Yun na lang assumption natin. Uh, remember, kapag uh, even yung ating uh, n, dalawa yung middle values. So let us mabaga, represent that by yung first na middle value is n sub 1 and the second middle value in s sub 2. Okay? Yun na lang yung assumption natin dito. And you get the average. Okay? Now, how to locate n sub 1? Okay? Please use this formula. Again, if n is uh, even, I'm talking about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on and so forth. No? So, Use this formula. This is instruction kung nasaan yung first natin na middle value. N divided by 2. Okay? Just substitute. So, 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nasa third na rank yung first na uh, middle value. Okay? The, uh, the instruction for N sub 2, okay, the same pa rin siya, just add 1. No? N divided by 2 plus 1. So, in this case, 6 divided by 2 plus 1 will give you 4. No? It means to say, nasa fourth rank yung iyong second middle value. Okay? After you arrange, okay, you apply this uh, instruction. Okay? So third yung first. One, two, three. Okay, correct. 25, no? 25. Then this one, fourth. Okay? 29. Okay? That is why 29 dito. I divide nyo pa rin sa two. That is why, same lang dapat yung answer ng dalawa. Okay? Now, last tayo. Okay. Sa last, uh, Uh, mode, no? Mode means uh, most frequently occurring scores or data or datum, kung isa lang, no? Big sa Tagalog pa, yung pinakamarami na mag-appear doon sa series of data na higit pa sa isa. Again, kapag one sila lahat, walang mode. Big sabihin, you put there no mode, no? Kasi ang, ang description or definition ng mode dapat higit sa isa. Okay? So, Example tayo. Okay. Example, so first example natin dito kanina, no? Uh, 30, 25, 25, 29, 14. There's no instruction that you need to arrange the lowest to the highest. Just look at the data. Saan yung, ano yung pinakamarami? Okay? So in this case, 25. Okay? Because it appears twice, no? And the rest once. Okay, klaro ha? Ibig sabihin, parang inaansiran mo yung question ba na ilan, ilang sudyante ang nakakuha ng ng score na ganito karami, okay? Yung pinakamarami ba? So, anong, uh, anong scores ang uh, 
nakuha ng sudyante na pinakamarami. Tama ba yung question ko? Eh, parang ganun, no? So, the answer is 25. Okay? So, maraming nakukuha ng 25. Okay? Pinakamarami yun, 25. That's the answer for the mode. The second example, okay? So, series of data, dinagdagan ko yung 30, no? So, ano yung pinakamaraming uh, scores na nakuha ng sudyante doon sa quiz ni sir? Example, no? So, your answer here, okay, 25 and 30. Kasi, ano sila? Uh, pantay, no? Nagtay sila doon. Okay? So, that's the uh, the answer for uh, the mode. Okay? So, just to recap, you're tackling regarding mean, median, 